Growing up, I spent my summers on the North Carolina coast, out on the water, kayaking out the sandbars, hanging off floating docks, and just seeing what all I could find. I would see all these cool little creatures, but no one could tell me what they were. So began my obsession with these mysterious marine invertebrates. My name is Jillian Daly. I'm the communication specialist for the North Carolina Coastal Reserve and National Estuarine Research Reserve. The North Carolina Coastal Reserve and National Estuarine Research Reserve is a network of 10 sites protected for research, education, and stewardship. I spend a lot of my time, both work and free time, in our Rachel Carson Reserve component. When people think about the Rachel Carson Reserve, they think about our wild horses, seeing dolphins, maybe a sea turtle, but there's so many animals that people don't see or they walk over every day. About 97% of all animals on Earth are invertebrates. So that's an animal without a backbone. There's so many, the diversity is insane. That's why I love marine invertebrates. It's so hard to pick a favorite because I love cephalopods, which are your octopuses, your cuttlefish, your squids. Echinoderms, or the sand dollars, sea cucumbers, sea stars, sea urchins, and you've got crustaceans, and it's just so cool. And there's so many things to discover out in the estuary that are marine invertebrates, and they all have different lifestyles and different adaptations, and they're amazing. They're like the aliens of our world, and underwater and in the sand, you just never know what you're gonna find. The Rachel Carson Reserve is a great place to conduct research and find marine invertebrates because we're situated in a really unique area. This estuary exists within an overlap of species ranges from the north and south, and the diversity of estuarine habitats serve as essential nursery and foraging areas. This all means invertebrates play a vital part of the food web, supporting the biodiversity we have on the reserve. A large part of my job is trying to engage visitors and the public with the reserve and what we do here. And a great way to do that is to show them what lives in our estuary. Look. Oh. I try to use social media to highlight the often overlooked aspects of our estuarine ecosystem and help our community and visitors be more aware of the wonders in our estuary. There's just so much going on under the sand that we can't see. It's really cool to think about. We have folks who've been coming out to the Rachel Carson Reserve their whole life and not knowing that that little tube they're walking over, a worm lives inside, or that a horseshoe crab is burrowed underneath their feet, right? So it's really cool to share these videos and hear responses and people being like, wow, I had no idea, I see that all the time, or thanks for sharing. So that's been a really great way to increase our engagement with the reserve. I think that marine invertebrates are the secrets of the estuary. I think people can go out into the marsh and embrace the beauty and relax, but it's really cool when you can go out there and just walk around on a sandbar and look down and point out five different species of worms and know what's living down there. It's a great way to engage folks when you're out there with your kids or people visiting you and being like, do you know what that is? So I think learning what's out there, the biodiversity of the reserves that we protect, and just getting excited to go out and learn more. I hope when you go out in the estuary, you can appreciate the unseen wonders and all the marine invertebrates that are living under your feet and all around you and educate others and share the joy of identifying and finding marine invertebrates. Want to learn more about the estuarine creatures featured in this video? Follow us on social media for more information. All right. My name's Jillian. Communication <coughs> specialist for the National Estuarine Research. So it's been a lifelong passion. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! What they're doing. So it's always, I'm just really curious about finding all these animals and what's living under the sand and why is it there and why is it showing up now? Yeah. Here. We have worms. We have worms galore. I didn't mean to become a worm girl, but I'm obsessed with all our worms. <laughs>